Yeah, you can beat me to fight. Oh, no. Yeah, really. Pussy, look at me. Look at me while I'm talking to you, pussy. So it's day three, episode three, and today's a big one. It's open workout day. We finally got some action. We got, you know, behind the scenes of some of the photographs that had taken green screen and some of the quick fire questions. But today, we're gonna see them throw hands for the first time. The main, the main event was pretty good. Today wow. was sound. Like, genuinely, I thought Newcastle was so entertaining. Bro, legit, like, yeah. I just loved every bit of it. Yeah, every fight was sick. But I feel like every, Legit, every Misfits event, we're just getting better and better yeah, and better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, action. No! <laughs> cool, that's you, mate. That's it. Thank you very much. If I look like an absolute fool, just we'll tell me. That one, yeah? yeah, yeah. <laughs> action. Today is the open workout. Could you give us a little bit of an insight as to what the rest of your day is looking like and how you feel about it? To be honest, I have no idea. I've got my open workout at 1.45, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm just going into it really chill. Me and my coach are just gonna do what we usually do. Some pad work, some skipping, some bits and bobs. I'm just really excited. I feel really chill about this week. Just gonna relax and enjoy it. What can we expect from your hands though? Or like, have you got anything special routine or is it just gonna be? It's gonna be normal, work? just chill pad work. It's just like how I'm in training. It's comfortable, headphones on. And yeah, man, I'm just gonna keep it light and uh, not gonna give too much away because I'm um, trying to give my game plan away. But yeah, man, it's gonna be good vibes. We're at a secret location, which will not be disclosed. And yeah, let's get into it. It's looking packed though. Winnie, 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 winnie. You know, there's a bit of an atmosphere. Are you nervous to get up there in a few moments? Uh, not really, no. I, I was, when I first walked in, I was like, oh my days. But then you sort of like, uh, calm down, you breathe, calm down, relax. But I've got to fight in front of 20,000 people or something. If I'm nervous with this, then you know what I mean? I've got no trust. Um, yo, it's Essex. Uh, you're going to see me knock out DTG in the first round. Well, minimal words, but on fight night, you're not going to be minimal words. No, you're going to be walking out. I've heard there's something big planned. Yeah, I've got a big walkout. Um, Can they get a teaser? Woo rhythm. What was that? If you know, you know. Woo rhythm. If you know, you know. If you don't, then you don't. Doing, bro. Good to see you in person now. Good to see you, bro. How are you feeling? Good, man. Good. Good. So, my friend, did you get a chance to see SX this morning? Nah, not at all. It kind of excites me that I'm going into a fight that I know nothing about my opponent. Like, yeah, kind of excited. I can see you sweating. You've been putting in that work. Yeah, man. How are you feeling? You know, it's, it's now starting to get real. I'm very good at keeping a cool mind. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm happy with myself, but the hard work I put in for this camp. What is the attire you're in right now? This right here on the back of it says Misfits Prisoner 06. I got suspended. They fined me for knocking out Stevie Knight. He's supposed to be Avengers Stevie Knight, but he's going to be joining him in the Shadow Realm real soon. Yeah, I'm going to save the, uh, the Misfits. What? The Misfits uh, vlog series. Okay, okay, what's going feeling? on, Misfits vlog? I'm feeling like a million trillion bucks, kid. Never better, never sharper. Um, I'm ready to batter these boys come Saturday night, but today it's just media workout, nothing major. What are you going to show us in that range? I'm going to show you guys that what drinking a six, drinking a 12 pack of beer a day and smoking a pack of six gets you. The hair actually looks sick, man. Like gonna, yeah, I'm going to do something. So, we're here with the duo. How are you both feeling? Feeling good. Feeling, uh, it's good to get a little in front of the camera, feel it out, and get ready for uh, October 14th. Pineda looks long, he looks sharp. B -day I thought looked he looked like... pretty short, bro. Like, the yeah. way he was punching was... <laughs> I don't know. They I looked at... looking at B-Day. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, they look yeah. the same, kind of. Sensing a bit of uh, animosity against B-Dave here. Talk to me, what's going on? Now, B-Dave, he's just an internet troll. And, he, and like, he's a nice enough kid, I have no issue with him, but like, every time it comes to like, fight week, he's just, he's so annoying, you it's know? Just, it's just Brendan being Brendan. Yeah. Brendan being Brendan. Brendan being Brendan, bro. Not even B-Day, Brendan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what other fight are you most looking forward to on that night? Uh, I'm thinking Slim and Salt. That's my, uh, Pinoy brother, Salt. I want to see him put in work. He's, he has a crazy transformation. I want to see what, uh, what he's bringing this time. What are you feeling ahead of getting in that ring? Feeling good. Feeling great, feel amazing. Are we gonna put on the show? That's the other way, I'm gonna put on the show, that's it. Amazing.
must be nervous. You nervous, Dad? The level looks really high. I think all these fights are going to be really competitive. We've got currently Wenderson up there right now, and he's looking super sharp. I tell you what, I think he's going to bring a new level. But I also believe that my mate Nate, that's just there, he also looks determined. He's also looking sharp. I think Mam Saylor and Callas Aula need a round of applause because they have made such great matchups. And what a night of boxing we have ahead of us. Now we know this is a mega fight, and if KSI wins, and when he wins. What do we believe next from? He said about retiring and hanging up the gloves. I like to plan things after that bell sounds and he's got his arms up in victory. Let him have a rest for a couple of days. I will only ever, ever guide him towards the direction that he wants to go into. But it's such a good card, I can't actually choose my favorite fight of the night. Do you have any fight of the night apart from KSI and Tommy Fury? D uh, Dean against Walid, Salt Pappy and Slim, those two are tied. I'm really interested in every fight though. I'm gonna say you look sharp in there. Dean's in there. What are you making of him? I I haven't seen him box yet. Trash. Trash. I don't know, I don't need to see what he does. I already know what I'm working on, I already know what I'm capable of, so it don't matter. It's been real. And when he gets in the ring, it's he's gonna realize he fucked up. We seen Willie Charles in there. Yeah. Were you surprised by anything you saw? Uh, the only thing I was probably surprised by is abs. Um, he got some. He, he's looking good with abs, but we seen with Fousey. Uh, I can't really explain how I came back. It was just written. God already written it. You dig what I'm saying? It was already destined to be. And I beat Willie on my worst night, bro. You dig? Saturday night gonna be my best night, and I'm gonna knock him. It's gonna be the same result, different day. But, but I got confidence in these hands. I got confidence in my skills. I got confidence in me and my team. You dig? And I'm gonna go in there and whoop that ass. The main event is just about to get in the ring. We have Dylan Dennis getting ready now. I'm so excited for this main event. We've waited a long time, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, so this is the Misfits vlog series. Now, Greg, I need to talk about what just happened there. What was going on? You know, so so when we were in the UK, John and I got along, we, we, we were good. I mean, we talked about when I came here, we'd have a beer. So I came up to wish him good luck, because I actually want Tommy to win. And uh, I'm like, hey, what's going on? And he looked at me, I'm like, Greg Paul, and he shook his hand, and she's got it all on video, mm -hmm. and he's cool. And then he's like, 
you want to fight with me? You want to fuck with me? I'll beat your ass. And he started, really? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to fight you. I don't have nothing to do. You know, he's like, go, oh, go on. Man. I didn't hear what he said, but I thought he said something about a ball or balls. I'm like, you want to lick my balls? I'm like, you want to lick my balls? Come on, I'm good for it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And that is open workout day. As you can see, the ring is now empty. And what a day it was. A day of throwing stuff, John Fury doing what John Fury does best. Unfortunately, Ryan Taylor is not going to be fighting on Saturday night. So we're going to find out the replacement real soon and we'll keep you in the loop. That's been us. That's been day three, episode three. Tomorrow is the press conference. If today went off, imagine tomorrow. I can't wait, man. And make sure you stay in tune. You're watching all the vlog series, watching all the interviews, everything we're putting out. Putting that subscribe button and getting that pay-per-view. We'll see you then. <laughs>